Hi, everyone, welcome to Style3D Atelier channel. In this video you will learn, software view. So let's get start. The introduction of the interface is divided into five categories. Menu bar object browser. Property editor. 2D and 3D viewports. Let's start with the menu bar. Here, all the tools are organized into sections. Home. Asset. Tool. Measurement. Setting. File. The home column mainly contains tools for edit pattern for editing and adjusting garment patterns, as well as sewing tools for pattern and simulation tools. The asset column mainly contains tools for edit texture, transform graphic, adding and editing clothing accessories, buttons, zippers, adding and editing top stick, adding and edit piping. The tools column mainly contains 3D snapshots, animation editor, colorway, UV editor, simplify meshes, baking light map. The measure column mainly contains tools for measuring avatar and measuring pattern. The setting column mainly contains display options, display of garment, avatar, windows, etc. Preferences, here you can modify the software language. Show PS or AI button. The file mainly includes new project. Open project. Garment, avatar, scene, prop. Recently files can open recently used project files. Save project. Save as includes, project, garment, avatar, and scene. Import options supports various formats. DXF format for importing pattern. And other formats such as OBJ, FBX. Also, formats with animation information alembic. Alembic format. And importing sketch for easy modeling. Importing AI as pattern. Export options also supports various formats. OBJ, FBX, USB. If it's animated format, export in Alembic. The most commonly used format is SMD, a unique software format. Also a highlight of Atelier. This format can work with our developed Meta plugin. For real-time cloth simulation in UE, Atelier software is specifically designed for CG industry users for high-fidelity, 3D garment modeling software. In the UE environment, it helps digital human to make real-time simulations of clothes. And this special format is required. The arrow next to the file is for undo and redo. The three dots next to it, clicking on it shows the history action recording panel. The first one in the top right corner is the user login ID. The second one is the shortcut key panel. Inside are some commonly used shortcuts. This is to switch to the 2D independent window. Next to it is to switch to the 3D independent window. This is to switch back to the combined view of the 2D and 3D windows. The side panel in the 2D slash 3D windows contains commonly used tools. In 3D, these are tools primarily used when modeling for models. In 2D, these are tools for clothing pattern pieces. Next is the scene management viewport. It's divided into four categories here. Current. Scene. Measure. 3D state. The current column contains fabrics used in the project. Patterns. Accessories, buttons, etc. Top stick and trim. Avatar. Here you can find convenient management. And there's resource library. Add offline fabric, accessory, and avatar resources from here. It also includes online assets. Link to the official Quick Payment platform. Inside, there are a massive number of free avatars, garment, fabrics, and accessory resources available for everyone to download and use. 
The scene column includes scene, pattern, sewing, avatar, and avatar measure. Seam edge option, avatar option. Avatar measure. Here, you can manage and edit all current scene contents. Select views, manage and edit operations. The measure column contains the current dimensions of garment and avatars, making it convenient for querying. 3D state, you can record clothing states. Click on the small clothing icon to add records. Usually, storage can be done at several important points, such as before simulation, before uncertain operations. All can be accumulated. Next is the property editor, selecting fabrics. In the property editor, you can edit and modify material and physical property. There's also a hidden feature. Hover the mouse here. This option's explanation will appear for easy understanding. At the bottom of the interface is a hint operation bar. When different tools are selected, there will be corresponding operation prompts. Lastly, there's an introduction to the 2D and 3D viewports. This is the 2D window. You can make pattern revision here. This is the 3D window for sculpting adjustments and garment simulation. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help you remodeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in next video, goodbye.